Hello viewers, uh, welcome to the second video in the series of cancer topics. This series of videos is brought to you to increase the understanding of the concepts which lie behind the various steps taken in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer. The uh, cancer cases are real ones. So today I'm, talk I'm going to talk about a breast cancer patient who was seen uh, before starting adjuvant radiotherapy and the topic today is adjuvant radiotherapy itself. The patient was 47 years of age lady who was diagnosed in August 2020 with left breast cancer. In September, she started neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Now, to clarify the concept of neoadjuvant treatment, this is a type of treatment which is given to reduce or shrink the tumor before uh, surgery. This makes surgery easier and also tells us whether the tumor is sensitive to, to the treatment or not. So she completed neoadjuvant chemotherapy uh, and uh, underwent uh, total breast removal. This type of surgery is called mastectomy. Just a hint on her past history, she had Removal of uh, uterus and both ovaries in 2013, that is five years uh, prior to her diagnosis of breast cancer. <coughs> the response uh, to the new adjuvant treatment was assessed um, after surgery and it was seen that uh, there was a good response. The initial tumor was 3.5 centimeter and no lymph nodes were enlarged as seen on the CT scan. And there was no spread outside the breast. After treatment, um, there was no tumor found on the, in the surgical specimen. So she had a very good complete response to the new adjuvant treatment. Tumor biology is very important uh, to plan for further treatment and her tumor um, was biologically assessed. The assessment is done by uh, analyzing the tumor tissue for receptors for estrogen and progesterone uh, and HER2. If the tumor is found positive for the receptors, then the treatment is uh, tailored accordingly. In her case, all these assays were negative so she was one of so-called triple negative uh, breast cancer. Now, um, we recall that her age is 47 years and she is triple negative. So she is at quite high risk of tumor recurrence. That means the tumor coming back. Uh, just to note, the younger the age and um, poorer the uh, expression of the hormone proteins on the tumor cells, worse the prognosis, that means there are higher responses of tumor coming back. When she was seen uh, in the clinic after surgery, her husband was present with her and we discussed the uh, response to the tumor and also we discussed uh, the recommendation of adjuvant radiotherapy. Now again, um, the word adjuvant means the treatment which is done to uh, reduce the chances of tumor recurrence. Um, we also discussed the magnitude of benefit of radiotherapy, side effects and the risks associated with this treatment and the procedural uh, aspects of the treatment. I told her that the objective of the treatment is to eradicate any tumor deposits remaining following surgery. It also reduces the chances of local recurrence of the tumor and also improves the breast cancer specific and overall survival. That means the uh, patient is likely to live longer as shown in the trials. The evidence is provided by a meta-analysis. Now, as I uh, pointed out in my previous uh, video that meta-analysis means analysis of several uh, trials combined together. This meta-analysis was carried out by uh, early breast cancer trialist collaborative group in short form EBC-TCG uh, in 2011 and it included 17 trials and over, over 10,000 cases of breast cancer. The uh, results showed that radiotherapy significantly reduced local recurrence by approximately 50%. 
Uh, and there was also 4% decrease in 15-year risk of breast cancer death. Uh, um, now, these, these, uh, these results are quite significant in the favor of uh, adjuvant treatment with, uh, with radiotherapy. Now, the patients who, who is offered radiotherapy, um, all patients who had removal of the tumor lump rather than whole breast are offered adjuvant radiotherapy. To, to decrease the chances of tumor coming back in the remaining uh, breast tissue. If the whole breast is removed, that means mastectomy was carried out, then radiotherapy recommendation is based on tumor characteristic. Um, if the tumor has bad characteristic, that may means it may be large in size or may it be triple negative or may um, may have um, other bad uh, features, then the radiotherapy is offered. Also, if the uh, lymph nodes and the armpit are found to be increased in size because of tumor involvement, then radiotherapy is offered. The radiotherapy is delivered usually to the whole breast or the chest if the breast has been removed. Uh, and some additional radiation um, to the tumor bed and also to the armpits if uh, indicated. The duration of radiotherapy is usually three weeks and it's done five days a week with two days uh, a week um, break from radiotherapy. Uh, as for all treatments, this treatment is also associated with side effects. Some may be immediate and some are long term. The immediate Side effects are mostly local and uh, radiotherapy can cause breast swelling, redness, some soreness or even frank pain in the, in the, uh, uh, in the site of the radiation. Sometimes frank inflammation may occur and uh, um, some patients may uh, experience local rash or even blistering. Some patients come with generalized aches and pains which are manageable and uh, some patients may complain of fatigue which is rare and usually subsides with the after few days. The, there are some long-term side effects as well. Um, these can be local, for example, lymphedema which can be, uh, which is usually swelling of the arm. It can be quite debilitating and painful and um, needs help from lymphedema services. Uh, the other long-term uh, effects include the inflammation of the part of the lung uh, lying underneath the uh, radiation site. Also, it also usually subsides and doesn't pose much clinical problem. Um, very rare side effect uh, of the radiation in the long uh, run is uh, the secondary tumors which can occur in the skin or in the breast and also heart toxicity, which can take various shapes and can, can sometimes occur in the short term as well. And fortunately, it's very rare. Now, as, as far as the treatment recommendations are concerned, you are uh, advised to follow the advice of your oncologist if you are a patient. And um, I will not uh, advise to follow any recommendations based on the information provided on this uh, in this video. Thank you very much for listening and subscribe if you like the video.